What's going right. on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got Rossi Bugatti in the studio. Come on, man. You niggas know the truth, what it is and what it ain't, man. How yeah. you doing, bro? I'm Jay Colin, doing his time. How's everything been going uh, going for you as far as like your time and, and dealing with that? Uh man, nigga is going through it, man. Nigga should be out of this mouth real soon, man. Going through the trials and tribulations, getting his money with these lawyers. It's looking good though right now. Hell okay, yeah. Everything pay off. When you think you're gonna get out? Yeah, for sure. Nigga should be up out of here about it. Probably the end of next year or something. Not the beginning after that. Uh, uh like twenty four. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to get to it, like, uh, what was it like growing up in that life for you? Uh, it was rough, man. Nigga was going through a whole lot, man. Shit, nigga been feel me thugging since nigga was nine. Nigga start game banging at nine. Nigga feel me? Nigga start doing this thing. Nigga start really feel me getting to that bag. At like 13, 14, feel me? Nigga was touching little bands, a little 50, 40,000 and all little shit like that. You feel me doing this thing? Thinking that nigga was grown and all that, you feel me? But, yeah. You know? And shit, nigga, nigga just, uh, just started rapping, you feel me? When I went to the pen and got out, like I was like 21. Yeah. Well, uh, when you was nine, like what got you in the gangbanging at, at such an early age? Ah, oh, man, shit, man, they're thugging. It's crazy, because nigga been thugging with my cousin that's in the cell with me right now. Cause, like, cause, like, we real close. He like a brother to a nigga, you feel me? Me and my brother, like, 17 years apart, so we really didn't get to thug like that, you feel me? He way older than the nigga, and he was trying to stop a nigga from game banging, you feel me? And that's what a nigga was trying to do, really, you feel me? So, yeah. My bro, my cousin, Michelle, he like a brother to a nigga. And me and Cud real close. He just like a few years older than the nigga, you feel me? We just been, you feel me, badass little kid, you feel me? We, 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 all our family from 60s, but, you know, we end up getting put on uh 30s, you feel me, rolling 30s. So that's how we feel me. Yeah. We got family over here, too. Yeah. Can you talk about your put-on process? Or you got a put-on uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, man. See, you know, nigga got put on. I, I was like nine. I, I was the youngest out the pack, you feel me? So, nigga, <laughs> dang, you feel me? Nigga, everybody really had love for a nigga. Nigga ain't really go through that much. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Hey, you feel me? I got put on by my big homie. Uh, oh, yeah, his name is So, he, he, he just see, he died, you feel me? Back, like, in 2009. Yeah. A little high-speed chase, little situation, you feel me? But... Yeah, they, they just threw him on the nigga. You know, he really wasn't too good with the hands at that time. So, you know, <laughs> he, he was older than the nigga. So, they threw him on the nigga. Did my little thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you talk about, like, um, like, like how has your turn been as far as, like, um, just, you know, a lot of shit has been going on. You feel me? Draco passed. You feel me? Um, like, how your mental been with dealing with that? Uh, man, I ain't gonna lie, it, it fucked me up like crazy because you know me and him was just selling before he got out of jail. You know, my mama for was real? managing him for a minute. And, you know, my mama is the one they call auntie and all that. That that was driving him around and shit as soon as he got out and shit. And yeah. Then, Draco, we was in the cell. Draco was in high power for a minute. I came down from prison and uh, you feel me, was uh, on my little pill and shit. You feel me? And, well, I mean, it's crazy because he ended up getting out, getting out of high power as soon as I came down. And they was trying to figure out where they was going to put him. He ended up getting his way sent down to wherever I was at. And then he got in a little scuffle with uh, a few little blood niggas over there on the other side. You feel me? We, we be funky with. And you feel me? It, it was a whole little shit going on. So I had to go over there. You know, Draco don't game bang, so... Yeah, I got, I got, I got my. You feel me? All my homies with me. We all from rolling, but Draco, you know, he run rolling when he in prison and shit. He run with us. So, as in my homies, like we got some little shit going on. I'm over there getting to it with some of my homies because you feel me? All the young niggas they look up to me. Like you feel me? Most of the young niggas look up to a nigga, me and my cousin, all of us over there. So, I'm telling the homies like you feel me? We gotta go over there and get my cousin. 
And you feel me? But son, like one of the homies that's my age, covered, he, he ain't really feeling that too much. So he like, he going to sacrifice the homies for, you know, for cub. You feel me? And he don't even game, bang. So I'm getting into it. But all the young homies like, man, we going with two rods on. You feel me? Fuck with cub talking about. So a nigga went over there. I, I ended up trying to get Draco, you feel me? Uh, from over there. And the police like, man, no, let him sit over there. He in videos, burning red rags and all that. He want to be a yeah. banger. So I'm like, man, cuz already got it. You feel me? He got whatever he deserve. You feel me? Whatever y'all feel like he deserved. They niggas scuffing him up. Nah, you feel yeah. me? You feel me? So as soon as I get him back over here, you know, it's going to be what it's be. I'm going to turn this motherfucker up with one of them niggas laying over here. So, nigga, the white police, they was they was on some race shit. They didn't want to put Draco over there, motherfucker. So I did some slick shit late night and I had a, a black police officer I used to fuck with. I had him put in the bowl. He ended up moving Draco inside my cell. Yeah. So then the police looking for Draco. They mad that I didn't move him over there, but I'm doing some slick shit. I'm getting his, his bed charge switched to another cell. So they ran different cells, not knowing where he at the whole time he in my cell. They try to, they, they want him to be, that's crazy that it's like that though. Yeah, man, they, they 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 really didn't like Draco, man. Drake, you know, Draco got that I don't give a fuck attitude, so you feel me? They niggas be really wanting him to get hurt, so you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, but for him to not bang, when too many niggas thug and gang with no gangster like him, like you feel me? Yeah, he went in there and took his spirals, all that, like he thugged it out, you feel me? He do no telling or none of that. He thugged it out the whole way, you feel me? But man, bro was up in there, we just and shit, you feel me, and all that. But I've been down, I went down before them niggas, you feel me, and so I came out that little, uh, sorry Susie with Draco, that little shit had popped, but nigga then, you feel me, I wasn't really taking a rap shit serious, because I really was having money before all the little rapper shit, you feel me? Yeah. And, and bro, like, you feel me, bro was telling me to get on my shit, like, start rapping, but nigga, we went, we all went seeing no money in that shit like that, you feel me? Only Draco was Looking like he was fit to go, give me go somewhere, yeah. ready. Yeah. So, nigga, it really wasn't nothing to us. It, it wasn't nothing to him at the time either, because yeah, he was still out there thugging too. But it, it was, you feel me, he was popping off. So, yeah, yeah, yeah really did, you feel me, and he did his thing. And shit, when I came to jail, nigga, everybody was singing my little songs and shit too. So I'm like, this shit going, you feel me? <laughs> shit like that. Um. You know, I've been I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, you know, Draco did a game bang, but what I feel like people always try to throw him in them politics. You feel me? Of course, niggas know about his issues with Inglewood and whatnot. But like in jail, if he ain't gang banging, like like a nigga who don't gang bang, should he be fading that much in jail? Cause he's not really involved with none of this shit. It, 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 it wasn't that. It's 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 this situation with Draco is in jail for, you feel me? Allegedly, he was in jail for uh, Inglewood family, you feel me? Mm, oh, got so, you, got you, got you, got you. Now, they, the homies in the bloods run into it. It's like, get him, you feel me? When you get up on him, get him. You feel yeah. me? And you know, Draco talk that shit. Like, if uh-huh. nigga try to say he a Morgan, like, you know, he gonna respond back. They gonna respond back to anything. And nigga say out the wrong way on the comment. I mean, he gonna, he gonna say some shit, you feel me? That, just how he was. Nigga, I used to tell that like you ain't you feel me, you ain't gotta respond to none of them bust their ass niggas. You feel me? When niggas see him, they you feel me, they gonna see him, they gonna pop out. Yeah. So like how did you get connected with the stink team? Really, nigga, we been fucking with each other, like you feel me, since niggas was young. You feel me? Like me and Kells, we've been real close. We, we you feel me, you feel me, that's my cousin, you feel me? We we real close. My mom and his daddy, you feel me, they used to be getting a lot of money back in the days and shit, you feel me, doing that little shit. And then me and Draco and all of us, we like grew up, you feel me, we grew up all around the same area, you feel me? And niggas was just hanging, getting money together, you feel me? Hitting little shit, flocking and all that, hanging with each other. And mm-hmm. then nobody really like game bang but me and Kells, you feel me? Like, no, nobody really yeah. dug but me and Kells like that. But all the homies be really, you feel me, in the streets, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, and, uh, uh, K seven, me and him, me and K seven from the same hood. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I did yeah. something with K seven for the show too. Now that, yeah, yeah. And can you say like why you got locked up? Uh, yeah, man. Allegedly, uh, a few burglaries. I was on the uh, 
I was on a diamond, man. You probably seen it on my YouTube uh page. Yeah, I was on a diamond. Uh yeah, they try to place a whole bunch of burgers, you know, and talking about digging it. So millions of dollars and all this old shit. And they um I me, mean, I got out the pen, I had a few strikes, so they 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 booked the nigga and shit. And uh nigga had nigga was at I was at a Denny's with my uh my ex bitch and they booked the nigga and shit and Nigga was in the car sending a Benny, so they was trying to figure out uh, a few burglaries happened down the street miles away. But I'm like, man, nigga ain't got nothing to do with nothing. They gonna take, they took me in for investigation and a uh, booking me for some shit. And then my bail put my bail to a million dollars, and they thought a nigga wasn't gonna bail out. You feel me? I ended up bailing out on that shit. And they seen the nigga come recording all that, so they was they was pissed off trying to find a way how to you feel me. Uh, Put a nigga back in jail, but they try to use gang allegations to to put me back in jail when they got me on a case with a nigga that don't even gang bang. You feel me? So how could you give me gang enhancement when I'm on a case with somebody on gang bang? You give somebody gang enhancement if they doing something for the benefit of the hood. I couldn't be doing them for the benefit of the hood with a, yeah. the dude that don't gang bang, right? Yeah. But they never had no physical evidence on me. They just really basically that a phone allegedly I had was pinging in the area. You feel me? What? <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what I get. And a few gun cases, you know. That ain't nothing. They gonna they gonna keep that thing. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'll take the time for that all day. You feel me? But why, why is that? What the gun cases? Yeah, just because you ain't trying to get caught slipping and shit. Yeah, right? nigga. Ain't, yeah, nigga ain't gonna nigga ain't gonna get caught slipping. You feel me? And nigga ain't. See, my brother, I, my brother been shot up. I got an older brother. He done been shot up 17 times. 17, 17 separate times? 17 separate times. No, 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 not separate times. At one time. 17 shots, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one time. Yeah, my brother, he in prison, too. Yeah, he got a uh, five life sentence. But he, up in, he in the feds, though. But it's my brother named Baby Ripper. He's from 6 out, but yeah. Yeah. So a nigga just grew up, you know where a nigga from, nigga from South Central, so nigga get flipped every day where we from, you feel me? So yeah. Man. What, what uh, was it that um that made you wanted to get into, like, the gangbanging in the streets so young, like, your environment, or what was it? Yeah, yeah, my environment, and, and, and nigga just, you feel me, a nigga was just, a nigga grew up around, you feel me, but I guess, you know, my pops got killed at the Sloss team when I was two. Two years old and shit, you feel me? And he was a Muslim, but he was a nigga, like, you feel me? But he didn't game, man. He just was a big, like, uh, dope dealer, like, robber type of nigga. But he always tell my brother, like, don't don't let me game, man, you feel me? Whatever he do, but shit, that's what a nigga would. I was watching my older brother do this shit, so that's kind of what, you feel me, a nigga wanted to, wanted to do. And a nigga was running around with all the badass kids on the block and nigga that, you feel me? Nigga just fell in that shit. Nah, I'm sorry about your pops. That that sounds crazy as fuck. Yeah, man. And, and, and so as far as like getting into music, like what what made you want to start rapping initially? I ain't gonna lie, right? Nigga when nigga was young, a nigga a nigga used to look up to them hot boy niggas when nigga was a kid, you feel me? Yeah. A nigga like get that little style and shit, you feel me? Niggas was doing, but a nigga was always Nigga was always shy and he thought and nigga was too thugged out to do it. But everywhere a nigga go, a nigga like people tell a nigga like you got that look, like you feel me? You might well do your thing, like rap. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, yeah, nigga gonna fuck with it one day. But a nigga didn't really, a nigga thought it was easy. As, you feel me? As nigga see this shit, nigga like, okay, that shit easy. Nigga do that shit, nigga gonna get to it. Then feel me when I went to the prison, I was, I was just being there writing little shit. I never just spit the shit. I just be in my cell writing this shit. You feel me? And I came on from the pen and then I told my nigga, like, let's go make a song. Like, you feel me? Uh, my homie Baby D Rock and, and Tiny Cowboy, he been he been rapping. I don't know if you ever heard of that that flocking bitch video that went viral all over the news and shit. He he uh we went to go make a song with her and that shit was kind of I'm like, damn, this shit ain't as easy as a nigga thought it was, you feel me? Yeah. The nigga was, you feel me, was off beat, all type of shit. So that shit was kind of like, you feel me, hard for a nigga. So 
And nigga, nigga started just doing that shit, going every day, catching a little rhythm and shit, you feel me? But a lot of homies like, damn, like, your style is being off beat a lot. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Niggas know every time they see you, be off beat. But, nigga, I'm like, so then me and Draco started doing a little shit. That shit started popping. And then, like, I came you know, I came down. A lot of niggas just like, man, like, send me something. Like, I did shit with Brito, all them niggas. Like, one take J, all them niggas. I just been on shit with niggas. Like, you feel me? I got a, another mixtape that's about to come out soon, too. You feel me? What, what what can we expect up on the new mixtape? You said you you told uh, you got, oh, man, this, you got, a, you got the whole gonna, sneak team on there. Oh yeah, this about to go. This about to go. Yeah, yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie, like it 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 been rough for me recording on all you feel me through these little phones and shit like shit been off beat and like I ain't been on how to work these little apps that they feel me got they coming with and all this so shit you feel me and I've been recording over phones like in in, in the county shit static. You can't hear it. Can be good. They good. You can be quality and all that. So, uh, so um, a nigga, um, a nigga been um, uh, nigga been trying to get this shit right, man. So I, I learned how to work this shit though, and all this shit coming out good right now. I got I got some shit with all the give me all the stink team, like everybody on that motherfucker bull, OTM, my young niggas, uh, Ralph. You know I got plenty of songs with him, but uh. Yeah. I got some shit with them niggas, uh, ghetto boy niggas on there, uh, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, Rio and them little squad, yeah, some little nigga from right there. I got, I got a few shit coming, you feel me? I'm supposed to be doing some little shit with Yada and all them niggas too. Yeah. I interviewed Yada uh, in jail uh, while he was locked up too, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that was you. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah, we hey, did man. one. We did one. We just couldn't get the fucking um the video right, so it kind of. It kind of fucked it up, but it was just the audio. But it, I should did solid numbers though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if you. Yeah, I be fucking with a lot of uh, niggas from up north and shit too. Like uh, my nigga. myself. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I will be out there rocking with my boy AJ and them. I don't know if you heard them niggas from the uh, north. Thanks Fast for... money. Oh, Fast yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I be rocking with them niggas too. Yeah. One of my co-defendants on my case, he was sacked, though. That nigga, uh, you probably heard of his shit, King Cholo. Yeah, I heard of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's what's up. That's, that's one of my... Do well, uh, you got a name for the project? Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, me and I 30. It's going to be my ass up. He got a piece of tape. So I had to go hard on this motherfucker. The reason I named him being out of this is uh, I end up going on a run after they try to take me to jail and uh, put a little gang ass and shit. I get, a, I got a body there, you feel me? Yeah. And the anchor monitor off and all that. Hey, hey. He was out there doing his thing. But, uh, but, yeah, he was out there doing his thing and shit. Yeah. He been I got an artist. I don't know if you ever heard of him. You told me about him. Yeah, ass and Bob, Bob there. Yeah, he from he from L.A. as well, or where he from? Yeah, yeah, he from L.A. He from my hood. Okay, now you told me about him. Um, yeah, he, he signed the three hundred. How did all that come about? Um, that, that's really like my that's my little cousin. I was just telling that nigga, little nigga on the game, man. So I was trying to tell him. Start rapping, you feel me? Like that, that shit probably because he, uh, he know how to rap, you feel me? So uh, it was crazy because I had ended up going to the hole that day on Draco's birthday. When I went to the hole, shit, uh, I'm sitting in the hole, man. I'm listening to the radio, man. I, I hear radio like, you mean, uh, rapper Draco got stabbed at a festival and all this sort of shit. So I'm, like, uh, I'm thinking, hey, I'm like, they must be talking about. I know another nigga, Drake, yo, nigga, some from Detroit or some shit. You feel me? So I'm like, hey, when I call home, bitch, and my mom, like, they just like, sorry, you know. As soon as I call home, I'm like, sorry for what? They like, they killed me. I'm like, what? You feel me? Nigga, nigga was hurt. Nigga, that time, but a nigga can, I, it was, I didn't want to believe you so much. Nigga couldn't even shed no tear. You feel me? Nigga was honest about it, but. I called Ralph and that's when they really hit a nigga, you feel me? So then uh, my little cousin, when I come home, little nigga got a, got a song that's popping, you feel me? 
Hello, uh, that bitch part two. I don't know if you heard that shit. Oh, yeah, I don't think I heard it yet. Yeah, that motherfucker going viral all around LA. You probably heard this shit before. I probably you know did. It, I probably did. Because he was just out there in the bay doing a little walkthrough. He did a, a big show out there. Yeah. But he ended up, he ended up, um, maybe, uh, labels was reaching out to the little nigga, man. He like, something like, cuz, oh, can you manage me? Like, on the trip, I got you. Him and I ended up getting the nigga, him an entertainment lawyer. We just waited on all the deals and then it came with the best month. Oh dear. Yeah, did it like that. He is waiting for a little He about to start going on tour too. Nah, that's what's up, shit. That I, I think that's tight. You can you can you can make your music and manage it at the same time. Oh, uh, can you talk about like the that shit but it's been stuck on my head like what was going through your head when you see you had a million dollar bill? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, it's ugly. Man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Silly put up, so I put me out all my cars and shit and all my jewelry. So I knew I was, I was kind of straight, but that, that nigga, only thing I didn't know, give me where where I was gonna get the property from. They wanted they wanted a hundred thousand in a property. You feel me? Yeah. Anything over five hundred thousand, they gonna want they gonna want a property. You feel me? So nigga just didn't know where I was gonna get a property that was worth a million dollars. You feel me? Yeah, so my mama, my mama didn't want to put the house up because she already knew I was gonna run. You feel me? <laughs> so she like, she like, hell no, they like, we're gonna try to see if your uncle's gonna put the house up. I'm gonna end up putting up the house, and then I end up coming to Atlanta to see my mama. Yeah, and then I put up the house, and then I end up coming to Atlanta to see my mama. Yeah, and then I put up the house, and then I end up coming to Atlanta to see my mama. Yeah, and then I put up the house, and then I end up coming to Atlanta to see my mama. Yeah, and then I put up the house, and then I end up coming to Atlanta to see my mama. Yeah, and then I put up the yeah. Damn. Yeah. I know crazy. I end up coming cool with the bills, my nigga. He ended up letting the nigga rent one of his houses out there in Laguna Beach and the motherfucker got a studio and all that. Bro, that's it was crazy. crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. Then I ended up I, I was recording up in that motherfucker with me, Jerko and all that shit recording that motherfucker, but um, PO used to be acting like a Bitch, because he, it was like on my mouth's rate, uh, the radio, because they had me on an ankle monitor. Yeah. Then when I went on the run, you feel me? And Draco did them songs, and nigga like started popping a little bit. So as I was going to his shows, niggas was like hollering at me, pulling me over to the side, like, look, bro, we got you feel me, 1500 2000 for you. He wants you to come perform, you feel me? Like, uh, oh, next month, something is good. But I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but then I'm like, hell no, nah, because the nigga on the run, you feel me? Yeah, you can't perform, hell no. Nah. Yeah, so all uh, the time, it's like, it was just hard for a nigga. That's why I wasn't doing videos and none of that shit neither. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Nah, okay. I, I already know, but it's like, what, what what's going through your head when you on the run, though? Nigga, a whole lot, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, like, Around this time, this before all the little shit, these little laws had passed. Nigga, like, damn, nigga, could be fighting some time. So, as, as nigga, dang it, nigga, like, man, nigga, gotta get out, get up out of here. Nigga, gotta go skip dates, them, you feel me? Nigga, gotta go somewhere and tuck off. At the same time, a nigga, so, so into the streets and thugged out. Nigga, don't wanna leave and go nowhere because the nigga just be homesick, you feel me? Yeah. Cause a nigga a young nigga, I was only twenty one at the time, so a nigga still was out there trying to thug and prove himself. You feel me? Yeah. Even though a nigga been in the streets, just a nigga still. Yeah. And then my cousin, to be the one I was telling you about, I'm in the cell with Cuz. He had just came home. 
It was a whole bunch of shit going on. Nigga trying to help him get on his feet. He trying to, you feel me, get it back going. You feel me? But at the same time, a nigga trying to still stay out here and chill. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, that shit, man. I was going through a nigga mind, though. I ain't gonna lie. A nigga, a nigga start smoking cigarettes with this nigga Draco packs every day. That nigga yeah. run through packs. So, nigga, I'm running through packs with the nigga. We going to record uh, at the nigga... Uh, at the nigga Tay Studio with, with Bino and shit. We doing all that shit though, man. Why niggas out there and run? I ain't gonna lie. I'm even thugging. Ralph, you all of us. Man, we had came out with that drag race of porn when I was on the run. All that shit old oh, though. Yeah. I'm still recording. How, how does it feel to you, like now when you see, like, you know, Draco passed and Ralphie just, he been working hard as fuck right now. I told, I told him though, I said, no, don't that up, man. Hang that up. Yeah, I'm saying, niggas don't fit me in that same time. You can't run from this shit now. You think your brother passed away, and then niggas is looking. What you been to do? You feel me? Yeah. You, you got to come hard. You keep it going. But I only, I know when I come on, shit, I'm going to go hard for it. I'm going to go hard. I ain't, you feel me? I can't see my, my self leaving my nigga this. I'm going to keep his legacy going. That's just that's forever, nigga. Yeah. For sure, he he put a nigga on with this rap shit, like you feel me? Everything, but nigga, he'll tell you though, if he was here right now, he Jack gonna tell you like nigga Ron's go crazy though. Nigga was out there thinking with he I saw Drake a whole lot of shit though. You feel me with a little designer game and all that and feel me? Being being that nigga the only nigga that really like be compete with each other with drinking lean, you feel me? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we had. I think we had a problem with you, baby. How you get into Sibylline? Oh me? Yeah. And I'm in Sibylline. So I was 13, bro. How you get access to it at 13, though? <laughs> and then my see one of my cousins, my other cousins, he, he used to really be out there in the bay and shit. That's the crazy thing. He he was a pimp though, but. Already, he, he, he already sipping that shit in. He already knew a nigga was stuck. He, he smoked with a nigga and all that. That's when niggas smoked weed back then, but I don't really fuck with weed no more like that. So I had ended up going to YA when I was younger. I, I had stopped that shit, you feel me? But a nigga tried to get out and smoke again. That shit didn't, you know, it didn't feel right. Yeah, the shit had your ass. Stopped for so long. Paranoid. Yeah. 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 Yeah, every time a nigga see a police or something, nigga out, nigga, nigga just think they on him. You feel me? You know how that shit go. Yeah. That shit. Nigga been sipping since nigga was young. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I already know how how uh, how that shit be, bro. Um, nigga, I'm, I'm spending. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. I, I'm spending nigga thousands a day. Hey, Only. Every day. Only. Only, nigga. I first come home, nigga. I was buying paints, nigga. Activist pints, nigga, for three thousand. Goddamn. Yeah. Lee, that's all that, Lee is super expensive though, for sure. Yeah, that's not. That was in 2016, 15 though. That that's when the shit was getting me about to get up out of there. All the activists. Yeah. All that red kicked in and all that. You can find that shit. What, do you got a date where the project's about to drop? Uh. Not actually, but a nigga, uh, nigga, nigga, I know it's gonna, it, it, it for sure gonna drop by the end of, by July, by the end of July or the middle of July, you feel me? Nigga just really trying to get all this shit right, you feel me? Yeah, this is gonna be one of my hardest mixtapes, so I really want it to be on everything, you feel me? Yeah. So, nigga, I want, I want that motherfucker to touch every blog it is, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Kinda, you feel me? Lock in right now. Um, I, I gotta ask you this. Uh, you can speak on it whether you want to or not, but uh you put out a, a RIP Drago record and say YG and DJ Mustard this. <laughs> you got you got anything you wanna say about that? It is, it is what it is. Niggas know what it is, baby. It is what it is, baby. Niggas know that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna do too much women on no niggas over no feeling, but niggas know, you know, yeah. Sick, you know? Yeah. Nah, I got you. Um, is there anything you wanna say to your fans, to the people that's watching this? Oh yeah, man. Tell all my fans, man. It's coming soon, man. Everybody know the truth, man. 
So tap in, follow my gram, man. It's Bugatti Rozzy, man. Everybody tap in, nigga. Keep tapping in and seeing what's going on, man. I'm going to test down real soon. We're going to fuck the streets up. This shit ain't over with. How do you feel about the, the L.A. music scene, the rappers in L.A. right now? What's your opinion on it? Uh, niggas in L.A., bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, everybody on, niggas don't want to see each other on. I, I'm going to keep it 100. You feel me? That's why it, it, it take a lot for a lot of us to get on because like, niggas was like the Milana niggas, bro. Them niggas all put each other on. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas in LA, they just can't see, but it come, it come with a whole lot though. It come with the gang banging. And that, that's a that's different a thing really about LA thing. for sure. Like, yeah, it's a it lot of politics. With, you feel me? Yeah, it come with bullshit politics. But at the same time, niggas ain't niggas. Niggas is niggas is sneaking fucking with each other, bro. They, they, niggas ain't gonna you know, tell you that these niggas is sneaking fucking with each other, bro. They just fear. For they big on me or somebody to find out about the shit. You feel me? These niggas, is, these niggas, there. It ain't even the same no more, bro. Niggas is getting money in, fucking with each other. You feel me? They fucking with. Yeah. I don't know though, but you know, I think niggas should start. Some niggas should start locking up. I mean, I mean linking up with each other, fucking with it. I don't yeah. Know. But so, I feel, you, but, you, you saying put the politics aside or what you saying? I mean, niggas don't always have their eyes, but. I think it, niggas should stop dick riding the next nigga. And, and, you feel me? Like, if you don't beat that nigga, just get you, you feel me? You got a song with this nigga, whatever, or you fuck with this nigga, like that. You way, you could be from Long Beach and all that shit. You're not from LA, bro. Come do something with, or you did something with the blood nigga, or crib nigga. That shit, you know, you feel me? Yeah, nigga, stop dick riding the next nigga. Nigga, and just because y'all, you feel me, y'all be with this hood out there that like rollers, and then they, you feel me, but it's not the same. Like, I don't know. I don't, it, it, it's kind of hard to explain because it's politics, you feel me? Yeah. But it's shit, it just be niggas, bro, just be dick riding. I ain't gonna lie. But then when they see a nigga, they act like they fuck with a nigga and all that when they by themselves. Then when they with a crowd of niggas that don't fuck with you, they, you feel me, with them niggas. Me saying fuck a nigga and all that. Yeah. No, no, these niggas I, really I, be I, like hoes, bro. I ain't gonna lie. These niggas be like hoes. No, nah, I, I get you for sure. It, it sucks that it's like that, though, but you're right, though. When somebody make a song with somebody, especially if they know they don't like you, they yeah. they try to, they, they, they'll they they'll definitely watch how much they fuck with you. You feel me? Yeah. They don't want to make the other person mad. Nah. But if like, you're not like, involved, like, you're not involved, though. Yeah, like it's your bitch or something. Like, nigga, you control on how you make this nigga mad. Nigga, you doing this shit for your bag and your family, whoever you doing it for. Nigga, this ain't got nothing to do. I mean, I mean, if that's your bro, bro, like, then it's, it's understandable. Like, that's yeah. that's my nigga. I'm a ride with whoever. His ops is my ops. You feel me? That That's understandable. But if it, you don't know, come on, cuz stop dick riding. It ain't, it ain't that serious, bro. Nah, 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 I get you. Nigga, don't. Niggas gonna start buying these niggas uh, dick ride a year trophy, man. The dick ride, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying the motorcycle with all the dicks on there, with the clutch on there, and all that. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> That's just how these niggas be doing. It. I ain't gonna lie. Is, is there anything you want to address before you get out of here? Uh, yeah, man. Make sure you niggas stay tapped in. And nigga, everything nigga talking about is true. Nigga, we ain't doing no capping and then all rapping. None of that. You feel me? You niggas. Think the homies in the house, they hide and running and all that. Nigga, we outside. You feel me? The homies outside, the state team outside. You niggas know what's going on. Nigga, nigga finna be popped out soon. Man. Nigga, free rise if you fail. You feel me? Free the good, you feel all of it. Man. Niggas know what's going on. We'll be out there real soon. Nah, for sure. We got we got Rossi Bugatti right here, man. Dope interview on the way. I appreciate you for sharing and, and doing the interview. Yeah. Tell them niggas accept it. <laughs> All right. All right. We're looking up.